Hi everybody, Iman here from Digital Matter. Today we'll be talking about Live View on the TG website. Before we get started, I highly suggest having looked through the uh, Live View article on our support page. It goes into great detail. Um, just to give you a walkthrough as to what the different buttons do, uh, here's my demo organization with a couple of devices. On the right hand side, we have a list of all the devices that are enabled or active on in this organization. So if we click on a particular asset, it takes you right into uh, where the asset is. So for example, this is my poll two, and we can see a couple of statistics as to how the device is performing. Um, the red markers mean that the device is stopped or is stationary, whereas if you have a green marker like this, the device is in motion. Now, the, device, the platform itself is running off Google Maps, so you do have features like satellite views and also the street view icon over here uh, if you want further detail on a particular location. Um, on the right-hand side, uh, we have a couple of buttons uh, that includes things like toggling on and off the business names. Uh, we can also toggle on and off uh, the live, live traffic. Um, and if you want to have a holistic sort of view as to where all our assets are, we can click on this button and it zooms you out. If we zoom back in, uh, we can click on the next button, which is toggling the geofences. So if you have multiple geofences, you can see where they are and how they have been placed. Um, we can filter our assets uh, depending on, let's say, device type. You want to filter all the Oyster 3s versus the Oyster Edges. That can be done using the filter option. And we can also sort by. Now, this particular icon is a point of interest. And we can see a point of interest right here. Um, the point of interest are basically markers that you can manually um, create on the map itself. Uh, to point on different locations. So for example, if you're working with a logistic client, they might have different branches around the place, so you can have multiple warehouses. And if you click on that particular point of interest, it takes you right there. Now, um, there are other features that you may see, buttons here and there. For example, if you click on an Oyster 3, uh, we, can have, we can look at the button called Closest POI. This points out as to where the closest point of interest is. And if we click on that, it takes us over here. There are two more buttons that are, are popular uh, and a lot of clients use, which are these two on top. And the first one is share an asset link. So if you want to share a location of a particular device and you don't want to give access to the TG platform for whatever reason, uh, you can quickly share a location using this icon. And the very next icon is setting a movement alert. So if you just want a quick way to um, send out an alert every time uh, the device moves, uh, set, alert, set movement alert, this icon is pretty useful. So yeah, that's everything to do with the live view. Uh, if you have any questions, do send us an email. We'd be more than happy to help. Thank you.